Installing the License Manager on Linux. I've started by creating a directory that I want to contain all of my License Manager files. I downloaded the zip file and then I unzipped it and I got this results. I've got two files I need to customize to make this work. The first would be the license file, license.dat, and the second would be a little batch file that's going to start this up. So let's have a look at license.dat. The first line is the server line and it's followed by the name of the license server machine and then by the machine's host ID and then by a port that the LMGRD service will listen on. We've set it to port 27005. The second line is called the vendor line and there could be more than one of these. That's followed by the name of the vendor daemon, and that's followed by the full path so that the LMGRD can execute the artwork daemon. The lines after that tend to be in groups, and these are what we call feature lines. They authorize one or more features to run. On the vendor line, I don't have any port number, which means that when the request for a license comes in, it's received on 27005, but when the artwork daemon responds, it's going to use any available port it can grab. That's fine if you're at a local network where all the ports, in a sense, are open. If there's a firewall between the client and the server, then you might need to specify that response port so that the port can be opened in the firewall. Let's look at how we start the license manager. Start LMGRD has three arguments. The first argument is the full path to the LMGRD service. The second indicates what license file should be read. It's home cad flex license.dat. And the dash log indicates the name and location of the log file that we want this LMGRD to create and to update. So all we need to do is start. So I'll just start that. I should, if I do an ls-trl, I now have a log file. We want to see what's in that log file. So we'll pass the boiler plate. We'll come here. We'll see that it's running 11.3.0 and what machine that the LMG started on. And right here, it's going to tell us what license file got read. And it's going to tell us what port LMG already is listening on. And that's the 27005 I specified on the server line. It starts the vendor daemons, and of course the only one there is artwork. And you'll notice that it picks some very high port, I didn't have anything to do with that number, to respond to the clients on. And here you can see that the two products that are licensed, the two features, are these two which were in the feature lines. That tells us everything's working. Now there's a couple of files that are created by this process. You don't have to deal with them unless for some reason they get left over when you stop the license manager. So you see there's a directory in user temp called .flexlm, and if we look at that, we'll see there's now a file called lmgrd6442, and that matches the process of the lmgrd. And then the other file that we'll notice that is produced is in var temp, and you see it's called lock artwork, and that was produced by the artwork daemon to ensure that the daemon is not executed more than once on the same machine. If you bring the license manager down correctly, those will get cleaned up before it closes. One problem people run into is they start a license manager and perhaps they have some problem, and rather than stopping it, they start a second one. When they start the second one, they'll get some error messages because the first one is still running. The way you can tell if one is running is to use the process command. You can see here there's two processes running. The first is the one that the LMGRD, and then the second process, actually started by the first process, is the artwork daemon. So those two are running. This is just the grip. We don't care about that. Before you start LMGRD, make sure that it's not already running. If it's not running and it still won't start correctly, then make sure you've killed the FlexLM file in the user temp and lock artwork in the var temp.